Hello, good morning, my lovely viewers. Welcome once again to Dan Biomedical. Today I'm going to take us through troubleshooting and repair of centrifuge. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, a centrifuge machine for the laboratory. You can see here centrifuge 82. This is the product. It is used mainly in the laboratory. So is used to spin the blood samples. So whenever the blood samples have been taken from the patient to carry out a diagnosis test, they, they set the blood sample into this uh, container here, this container sample, then you fit it in back, and then this machine spins the blood samples to mix it together and to separate the serum from the blood that can be used for a special diagnosis. So if this centrifuge is not spinning, this is where you put it on first. This is, these are the timer, speed, and regulation. This is the, the speed, and this is the timer. You time the centrifuge, how long you want it to spin for. Do you understand? So right now, as we see, if this machine is not spinning, first of all, we try to check if it's spinning. So you see, you connect it so far, switch it on, then you switch it on here. It's not spinning. If this machine is not spinning, what you can do is, first of all, you take it out of power, then you have to, right now, now we have to open this centrifuge to troubleshoot and get the reason why it's not spinning. So first of all, you turn. Here is the back cover here. These are all the screws. But before that, we have to take off all these containers. Take off all these containers. See? The containers. You close it right back. Then you turn. Blow it. Then you take your screwdriver. This is my screwdriver here. So we are going to lose this uh, centrifuge now. So I stand this way, you can see. So I'm losing it right here. I'm losing it right here. So these are the various screws to take off in order to troubleshoot and then see the possible reason why this centrifuge has refused to spin. So right now I want to troubleshoot to know the reason this centrifuge is not spinning. So you lose all the screws, like I said. So you should try and pay good attention so that you can learn from this. With all the equipment, I want to show you how to troubleshoot. So after losing, so I'll turn it like this. So you can see this is it's right there. So I'm trying to you have to be careful because there are some connections in it. So you wouldn't want to tamper with some connections that you don't know how it was connected. So so um, I'll create some space in here so that it can be easier for me. So So I'm back. So uh, we've been able to 
open the machine. So I get my tester. So this is my tester. You must always have a tester with you. Yeah, it's light. If, the, if power is actually going to the machine, if the machine is actually receiving power. So this is the power cord. So I try to check, try to test at the power cord if it's actually When you're using a tester, this is how you use a tester, you make sure your, the tip of your hand is touching this part while you're testing. If you don't touch, if you don't touch this part, you can't get any light, any signal. So so there is, a, there is, a, there is a, a very faint thin light on it there. I know you can't see it, but the light is faint to show that there's power. So that means the power coming into this centrifuge. I can also get a faint light in the tester, which shows that power is coming into this centrifuge. So, so with this, that is one of troubleshooting. So the first troubleshooting you are supposed to do whenever an equipment is not coming on is the power aspect. Now, I know there is power here. So if you put this on, I know there is power here. But if I put my tester here, I can get power. So then I connect the machine, the equipment on it, I put this on, and checking on the equipment, I can see power, I can see light here. So that light, tells you that there is power in this equipment actually. So that is the first thing to check. It means the power cord is good and the equipment itself is receiving power accurately. So why then is it not coming on? Because the equipment is not coming on. That is why it is not spinning. Because if it comes on, it's going to spin. So but in this case, it's not coming on and it's not spinning. And I find the socket is okay. The power cord is okay, simply because light is entering this part. And don't mind you, this is always a fuse. Fuse can also be an issue. But the fuse is okay since I'm getting power from the equipment. Do you understand? So the next thing to check now, we have to push off, bring up the key. The next thing I'm going to check is the carbon brush. In every centrifuge, in every centrifuge, there's always a carbon brush in it. Most of the time, the reason why a centrifuge might not spin could be that the carbon brush is either finished or is not there again or is not not touching each other. The carbon brush are two, they are supposed to touch each other at both ends. Do you understand? So now we have found that this is okay. But now the parts are this is the motor. This is the centrifuge motor. This is the motor that controls the spinning of the centrifuge equipment. And this is the spinner. You can see it spinning. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you can see it. You can see it spinning. I don't know if you can see that spinning. You can see. So this is the motor that controls this the spinning mechanism. You understand me? This is the motor, the centrifuge. It controls the spinning mechanism of this centrifuge. And then this is the spinner. This is what spins the blood. You see. So when you on it, it's supposed to spin. So this is what spin the blood samples to separate the serum from the blood. You understand? Okay. So this is the power cable. This is the fuse. This is where the power cable is connected into the equipment. This cable here is usually the earth, the earthing. Every equipment has an earthing. The earthing is a very important aspect of the equipment to prevent the equipment from damage, from fluctuation of currents. Of power. So um, now 
Um, this this is the part of the timer, the switch, and the um, speed of the centrifuge. Now, this is where the brush is located. If you can see my hand, there's a black here. This is where the carbon brush is located, actually. So we are going to check if that is the reason why this centrifuge is not spinning. Do you understand? So we bring it out. So um, from here, we try to bring out the carbon brush so that we can check. So you can see, this is this is what we call carbon brush. You see? Let me bring it out so that you can see. This little thing here is called carbon brush. This one, this one here is a carbon brush. This is just a spring to be able to send it inside the equipment. So this is called the carbon brush. Carbon brush, as in C-A-R-O-B-O-N. It's called the carbon brush of this machine. So you see, it's finished. It's not even touching anymore. I'll bring you the second one to see also. I'm coming. So, right on this, on this other part, this other end, you open it at this other end. <clears throat> so, um, try to bring it out. Um, just a few minutes, I'll bring it out for you to see. So, you see, this is the carbon brush again. So, every centrifuge has a carbon brush and this carbon brush this carbon brush is what assists the spinning mechanism now this carbon brush are meant to touch each other like this when you insert it in the two ends there is a point inside this centrifuge where these two carbon brush are supposed to meet each other like this do you understand so when they meet each other like this the spinning is being regulated it triggers the spinning of this equipment so when you put it on it spins because the motor like i showed you there is working the spinner is working and then <clears throat> this carbon brush is also long enough to touch each other inside the equipment for the equipment to spin. So in this case, it simply means this is the reason why a centrifuge is not spinning. Do you understand? So if we change this carbon brush now, this equipment is going to work normal. Are you following? So <clears throat> this is how to troubleshoot an equipment, a centrifuge, rather. Centrifuge 80.2. That is what is here now, you understand? So now first of all, we check the power aspect. The power is okay, we check, we connect the machine, then we use our tester to check the equipment, and we have power in the equipment, which means the power aspect is very, very fine. Because there is power, the cable is fine, and there is power in the machine. You understand? So the next thing we have to check is the spinner. So the spinner is spinning very well. You understand? So if the spinner is not spinning, then you need to focus on the spinner. But because the spinner is spinning when you move it manually, it's spinning. So then the spinner is okay. And the motor is definitely okay. Because the motor is faulty, then there won't even be light on the motor. So the next thing to check is the carbon brush, which I just showed you now. So this carbon brush, they are short. It's even when, I, it's when, when they are inside there, they can't touch each other. Do you understand? So this is the reason the equipment is not spinning. Do you understand? So, uh, in our next video, I will get a carbon brush. I want to go and quickly buy a carbon brush now. So, when I come back, in our next video, I will also take you through on how to fix the carbon brush and then get the machine back to normal. Please subscribe to my channel and watch the videos to learn more. Thank you. See you in the next video. Thank you.